All right, here we are, completing the rudder. I don't know why I'm taking these Clicos out. I think I was just checking to make sure it was um, good to go, but it's, probably should have left them in at least to get started, and I think I put them back in later. Um, so I've got the instructions here on, okay, how do we do this? Bands wants you to use a, um, or rather they suggest that you back rivet these and you sort of set them gently at first and um, go, I don't know, every 10th rivet out from the center and gently set, gently set, and then just sort of go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, and then you sort of flip it over, flip it back, flip it over, flip it back and uh, do each of them you know, each uh, rivet kind of out that way. Uh, I decided to use the squeezer and have the specific Cleveland Aircraft Tools um, set of dies for it that mimic the shape of the trailing edge. And I still did partially set them um, and then go back and fully squeeze them after the fact. So we're just going to go back and forth, back and forth, down the trailing edge and slowly work our way until they're all set real nicely and we have a nice uh, straight trailing edge. done we're gonna take you on a little tour to see how it looks here's the uh the tip rib just to show like how uh how those rivets look in there they're all those are all squeezed not big deal there's the one right back there on the bottom i believe that i drilled out and replaced because it was the with the oops rivet later on a little bit twisty, but not uh, pretty darn straight. You can see a tiny bit of oil caning between the um, stiffeners there. I'm not really upset by that. Don't even be able to see it with the paint in. And I'm not sure if this sort of bend we're seeing is because of the TV, because it looks really straight off camera. Eh, whatever. It's all good. So yeah, that is a uh, completed rudder. I got the parts, and I'm going to be working on the horizontal, or I'm sorry, the uh, vertical stabilizer next.